Oh. Applause to you, Bo. You're a yeah. genius. <laughs> Alright, so here we are in Dwarf Fortress, and I have to say hello to Dwyron, to JC, and to Eric, because as far as anyone who watches knows, well as King. this is the first time that they've appeared on the stream. <laughs> and hello to King, who's joined the call. King! Uh, uh, oh. Hello! Yeah, there's King. Uh, we are playing as Tails. That is revolting. Uh, I think cool, man. I'm just kidding. We like things. He's alright. He's alright. I just woke up from a nap and it was Tails. Yeah, I like Tails. I like Tails. Oh, man. I remember one of the first Let's Plays I ever watched, like, all the way through, was um, Cybershell's Let's Play of the, um, basically all the Sonic games from the Genesis. Although, I do find Tails annoying in some of the later Sonic games, but the classics and a couple of the first games I really like. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's funny because Cybershell always used to, uh, rip Tails all the time. It's pretty funny. Then again, it's easy to find every character annoying in the later Sonic games. Never mind. <laughs> that doesn't just apply to Tails, that applies to everybody. Oh, man. I think uh, Eric is a hater. I'm, no, I'm really not. It's just that, I don't know, the later Sonic games just, just really don't do it. Yeah, unfortunately, the later Sonic games were not all that, um... Well, so, some, people, all like, some, not, like, some people like them, so, you know, it's, it's a matter of peace, I guess. I mean, they weren't terrible. Like, I can think I of... that Sonic Generations games. was a very good thing. Right? Yeah, I've heard Sonic Generations is awesome, but I haven't been able to play it, so I can't really say anything about it. Yes. But, like, even the 3D levels were good. Yeah. Hmm. That's a good thing. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that didn't kill me outright. One thing they did in this Mega Mix is that whenever you kill something, he gives you a ring, so that's helpful. So when you have no rings, just kill something. Yeah. So basically, we're killing for coin here. Is this the super hard version of the Mega Mix? No, this is the, uh, the version of regular version, version 4.0. When it, when it comes to the, uh, later Sonic games, uh, the two that I really like, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, because those were still really good. At least I thought so. They get a lot of good regard. Maybe one of these days I'll try them. Who knows? Sonic Heroes was, yeah, and then after that it really started to suck, so. Speaking of Sonic games, I recently downloaded one that was called Sonic 2 The Long Version, where they put in four previously, um, Remove levels into the game. That's awesome. You should play that sometime. It was cool. Um, trying to think about what the levels were. The, the death egg leg, leg. The death egg leg. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the death sense. leg. The death egg zone was just a rescan of the uh, chemical plant zone because they never actually made a uh, death le egg level for Sonic Two, but it had the death egg music, which was kind of cool. Nice. Uh, I need Sonic 3. I need music. I need music track. And that was the one that plays right before you fight Robotnik. Oh, okay. And you only hear it for two seconds in the original game. It's kind of sad because it's a neat track. Yeah. No, don't get that. But um, all of those are good except um, I think it was called Dust Hill Zone. It was a damn maze. And you know how I am with mazes. Yeah, you're terrible with mazes, so I can see why they I don't think I've ever gotten a game, a time over on a Sonic game, other than just screwing around. But I got a time over twice while trying to figure out the stage. Holy shit. Like, I just kept going in circles, I couldn't figure out where to go. Yeah, it was a, um, it was a nightmare. It wasn't, it wasn't badly done, but it was just like, like, where do I go? You just can't handle mazes. And sometimes if you like do the wrong thing, you have to backtrack, and it takes like three minutes to backtrack. Which I mean, most Sonic levels aren't even three minutes long. Yeah. And the fact that you take that long to backtrack is pretty punishing. And the thing is, I, I I think these were originally levels that were in the game, but the programmers decided that for whatever reason they um, just they didn't want them. Yeah. They All right. If I was in Tails, how would have I gotten up here? That's a good question. I guess we are encountering a Tails-only shortcut. Or, uh, holy, cool. 
or an alternatively, it's a holy fuck, I got lucky with some other character. Indeed. Like, I think other characters could have gotten through. Like, I think Shadow with the double jump could have gotten through. Yeah. I'm not sure, I'm not sure who else. I don't know if there are any walls to climb for Knuckles. Or, like, I don't know what Mighty Steel is, so maybe... Maybe if he had the double jump from the Lightning Shield, he could have gotten through. Yeah. There's a number of possibilities. But yeah, since Sonic Dash is sideways, he probably couldn't have done it. And since, uh... Knuckles flies, I mean glides, and climbs and shit. Yeah, yeah. We got into the special stage, and we are gonna try to not die. I mean, dying is a possibility, but... Some of the Knuckles and... Uh, some of the Knuckles levels in Sonic Adventure, uh, the first 3D Sonic game, were kind of annoying. <laughs> because all of the Knuckles levels in that game were, tr were like, treasure hunting levels. So, some of them can be really, really fucking annoying if you're looking for something. I wonder why that is. Uh, it's, they, Knuckles has its own backstory that we go into in Sonic Adventure 1, so... I wonder if it's the same backstory from the comics, or if it's... I don't remember the comic backstory that they gave him, so... Oh, man. I don't know, it's easy to get. Well, from a little I remember from Sonic Comics, he was supposed to be, like, the last in a line of Guardians of Chaos Emeralds for, like, oh, thousand yes, years or something. Yes, 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 yes. The storyline's pretty much the same, though. Mm-hmm. Not exactly the oh, same. Man. I mean, they leave a couple details out, but it's largely similar. Oh, man. It's, it's funny how the comics changed from being very cartoony to being a lot more serious in a relatively short amount of time. And apparently, from what I know, they're still going on. They must get to like 200 episodes because these comics started like in the like 93, 94 time period. Yeah. I remember um, a friend of mine showed me an issue that Shadow was apparently in. So yeah, they probably included some more characters as time went on. Shadow is probably my favorite one of the characters. I liked Shadow until until his own game. I hated his guts. I like Whoa. I like Shadow and Sonic Adventure 2, but that's pretty much it. I hate Shadow everywhere else. Whoa, I'm bouncing everywhere. Like, oh, okay. like Shadow at first was like Shadow was a good character that they just kind of ruined. Like it's kind of like Darth Vader in the Star Wars universe. They just kind of uh, fucked up. Okay, it's not. I don't know what you're talking about because in the three Star Wars movies that I that have been made, <laughs> yeah. it was a pretty badass oh, yeah, villain. Yeah, right. You're right. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I mean, if they ever made a. Uh, I mean, it would be kind of cool to know where it came There's from. There's this urban happened. legend, though, I've heard. Like a myth, almost. That there are uh -huh. these three other movies. Yeah, but like, but like, like... Yeah, I, I heard that they were written by like a, uh, you like, know, a... Like, a, a, like, it was like this guy who was like putting crack into his veins on the steps of the Capitol building or something. Wow, I just, that's weird. How did I come up with that? It was it was like, a guy that uh First of all, you don't put crack in veins. Yeah, and second of all, why would he be on the steps of the Capitol building? Like, like wouldn't yeah. they be like, hey, um we're trying to do we're trying to have like Congress here. You can't do that. Well they're not trying right now. And maybe that's why you can do it, because the government shut down, so you can uh <laughs> Maybe he's thinking of those movies right now and just be Where what's your other spell out of the sky? Oh, God. Yes. Oh man. The thing is, you can't defeat that part of the boss without losing a ring. Like I. So you have to make sure you have at least one ring. And here comes Jumpy Egg Butt Face Head. Uh, yeah. I'm oh man. Well, you can you can tell the comic started in the '90s because one of the very common insults that that uh, Sonic would use is he would say Doctor Robotnik. Clever. <laughs> Clever. And. And all those kids were like, ooh, we got burned. We would have said that had we said things like that at the time. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Get your ring. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Okay. It's right after Well, you had lives. one ring. Did you really think you could survive on one ring? Yeah, that ring bounced away. You know, I'm just glad the Mario franchise has some dignity left, but the Sonic one just hasn't had any for a decade now. Yeah, Mario is timeless. Because Sonic Adventure 2. The last yeah, game in my somehow Mario transitioned a lot better to 3D than Sonic ever 
ever could. It's because it's just because it, it just uh, the storylines became stupid. And they just had also, the variety is of the way the game goes. The thing is, like, what kind of storyline do you really need for Sonic? I mean, essentially, like, an evil man scientist has, um, has kidnapped a bunch of woodland critters, put them in, put them in little things, and we have to save them. Oh, you know, because this way, guys. the story worked for the first two Sonic Adventure games, but then after that, Story just became stupid. Oh, oh yeah, I got two hits on him. Got two hits on him there. That's Especially great. Sonic. Although one thing I do like, if any of you have ever seen the Sonic Sat AM series. Oh my god, that series is great. That was that was a shit man. Like I used to look forward all weekend to that. As long as you're not oh, talking about another great. Sonic that I don't talk about on the time. Oh my god. Whoa. I would the, like uh, to ask you guys and the viewers, can you hear me up there? Because my microphone, I just feel like my microphone. Really you, were, position. You, you were a little faint up until now, but now you're good. Okay. You're fine. But, um... Yeah. It's kind of sad where Sonic is gone, but hey, we can still remember the old games. And I've heard that some of the newest ones aren't too bad, but I haven't the opportunity, had the opportunity to play them, so... Alright. Yeah.